So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. What's good guys, it's Zen, and I'm here with your daily Lost Sector guide. Now I have over 4,000 hours in this game, so if you listen to these tips, we will get those runs going as fast as possible for you and get those exotics. Now all of the information I dropped throughout this video is super concise and I drop relevant tips throughout the entire video. So be sure not to skip anything and watch the entire video for the best exotic farm. I'll give some additional info about this guide while I show you how to get there. But if you want, you already know where it's at. Feel free to skip to this time to get right into the guide. Today's Lost Sector is an excellent farm with regular three or four minute clears. The build I'll show you trivializes it, making it super easy. In this guide, just like my others, I use no exotic armor since I want the guide to be useful for anyone watching. With that in mind, I also use no class specific abilities to make it universal for all three classes. And now that you know how to get there, let's get right into the guide. Alright, now the build I'm about to show you will guarantee 3 to 4 minute runs. This will be universal, meaning any of the three classes can use it. In this lost sector, we'll be dealing with barrier and unstoppable champions. With this in mind, we will be running Arbalist, a Glaive, and another linear fusion rifle. Arbalist will trivialize the barrier champions and doubles as good boss damage. If you don't already have Arbalist, no worries, as if you own Lightfall, you can simply talk to Shaw Han at the Cosmodrome and complete this quest. You don't need Arbalist. A Pulse Rifle will do the exact same thing, it'll just take much longer. The Glaive will destroy unstoppable champions, as well as every other enemy in this lost sector without using any ammo. Finally, the Linear Fusion is to kill the boss at a safe range. For this build, we will take advantage of Void. Your Super doesn't matter, you won't even need it. For your Grenade, use Vortex. Now for your Fragments. We will be taking advantage of Devour, so slot on Echo of Starvation. We will also need Echo of Obscurity. With Invis, Finishers, and Devour, we will be able to rampage through all the adds and they can't do a thing about it. These two fragments when paired with a Glaive are disgustingly powerful this season for any Lost Sector with Unstoppable Champions. Finally, you'll want Echo of Persistence to increase your Devour and Invis duration. Your aspects don't matter, run what you want. Now the three armor mods I'm about to show you are absolutely necessary. Number one is a Siphon mod corresponding to your Glaive. This will help create orbs of power to activate Devour. Now you see my Glaive is Void, so I have on Void Siphon. Number two is Fire Power. This creates an orb for grenade kills, which is way easier to proc than Siphon mods. Finally, we have Proximity Ward. Remember that Invis Devour combo I told you for melting through adds? This gives you an overshield while finishing, really guaranteeing that process. And that's it for necessary mods. The others don't matter as much, but I recommend copying what I have here for maximum optimization. Now we'll talk about exotics quickly. You truly don't need any. As you see here, I run none, but I'll give my top recommendation for each class. Titan should run Laurelly Splendor for extra regen. Yes, it works on non-solar classes. Essentially, if your barricade is charged, this exotic gives you double HP. Warlocks should run the stag. This will prove very helpful versus the boss and will allow you to peak shot more effectively. Finally, hunters should use Orpheus Rig for a more deadly super. And now that you know the build, let's hop into the walkthrough. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do when you enter the Lost Sector is take care of these two legionaries and then you just focus on the unstoppable. And the way you do that is you just hold down your block and melee him down. Very, very simple stuff. He'll die very quickly. And the beautiful thing about this is you're not using any ammo. I actually really love Unstoppable Glaives this season. Super insane. Second he starts doing damage, just block, and make sure while you're doing damage with your melee, you're blocking as that increases your cast speed. After you take care of him, you'll drop down here. You will shoot at these two Scions. You'll see there's an Unstoppable chasing us down. That's what we want. We want him to chase us down over here so that we can use him as cover. Uh, he's going to be body blocking the adds for us. So the closer that this Unstoppable gets, the better. This is pretty good, pretty sufficient, so we'll just start doing damage to him. You see, we're pretty low, but none of the adds can actually do damage to us, so we'll just sit here and kill him. Alright, after he's dead, you're going to be able to throw your grenade at these adds to take care of them. That procs your devour, but the barrier is thankfully just sitting right here, so after we take care of this phalanx, we could just start linearing the barrier down. Very, very simple stuff. Boom, and then after he's down, we'll just take care of these adds in this room, and then we will proceed to the boss room already. This is why this is such an amazing farm, man. It's just so fast if you just do what I said. What you're going to want to do is make sure your devourer's procced, and then just go for that invis finisher, and that's going to help you clear through all of these adds. 
because you're invis, you're getting full health, and they can't see you, they can't do anything about it. So, after you take care of that, you're going to proceed to the boss room. You're going to want to start clearing some ads until the unstoppable um, is in the same hallway as you. You'll see what I mean in a second. So you see the unstoppable is walking across. He's going to walk up that platform and start following us. Now, if you run back too quickly, he will lose aggro. So you're going to want to go back, pull his aggro again. There we go. Now he's following us. So we're just going to duck back over here so that we can take care of him with nothing else looking at us. That's pretty good. And then we'll take care of him. Now we're going to want to take care of some of the ads so that things aren't really shooting at us, especially the Scions guys, they do a ton of damage. Take care of as many ads as possible before we start doing boss damage. And that's looking pretty good, so now we can just start linearing the boss down. There's one other guy in the back, we'll take care of him in a second, but it doesn't really matter too much. And what you're going to want to do is just weave in and out of this little cover like we just did. Take care of that guy. Um, and then yeah, we're just going to linear the boss down, weaving in and out of cover, left and right. And it's very simple. And we'll make quick work of this lost sector in this manner. Now you can use your super, but you don't really have to. But yeah, man, it's actually very simple if you just use the build that I showed you, do the things that I said. Now, if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. These videos are super in-depth content, and I try to make them as useful as possible to everyone, while also being short and to the point. I upload lost sector guides every single day as well as other good Destiny 2 and some Pokemon content. Either way, thanks for watching and good luck farming guardians. See you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.